All right, everyone, this is Ash. Welcome back to The King's Speech. Uh, so I've been procrastinating and tearing down my office. Uh, so I figure since I haven't completed it yet, I might as well get around to uh, the latest Badger Shonen Jump chapters before I go on hiatus for real. Uh, so yeah, quickly getting around to Akane Banashi Spy Family chapters today uh, before I start tearing stuff down here. Uh, so as always, uh, you know, if you like this content, please do comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. It really does mean a lot to me. Uh, without further ado, let us dive into it with Spy Family, Chapter 101, uh, by Tetsuya Endo, with translation by Casey Lowe, lettering by Rina Mappa. Uh, so we have what, uh, we pick up where we left off with Martha, we have a little map with a uh, retreating Austanian army, uh, front line where Martha was fighting, and you have like the Western army pushing in, and you have direction of Martha was swept by the river. So you see that they're all retrieving toward, like moving towards the east-west border. And uh, Martha, after the front line where she's fighting, she's swept back towards the west. So now she's kind of like following in the wake of the Western Army's munch back toward the uh, retreating Austinian army. Jeff, I dodgedly plotted east. Uh, my anxiety... Oh, sorry, I forgot to mention, I keep forgetting to do this, but if I do come back to doing like Shonen Jump reaction reviews after my hiatus is done, I will get my tablet here uh, so that I can show off like the panels and stuff like I find intriguing or if I just want to like explain or show some things. I know I keep someone asked me to do that a long time ago and I apologize my brain the way it is I keep forgetting stuff like that. Uh, but I'll make myself a note to kind of remind myself to do that just so it's easier for you for everyone to see like what I'm kind of talking about because uh, I assume some of you will be like following along with the panels as I'm talking about it uh, but for those of you that don't I'll try to make it kind of easier to see uh, what I'm talking about. Uh, yeah sorry a little little bit of a diversion there but Ah, uh, yeah, have I doggedly plodded east, my anxiety rising as each step brought me closer to the front line. The stench of the army grew thicker in each town I passed through. Gun smoke, iron, leather, oil, dust, and field kitchen soups. It's like soups, a grumble, grumble. I'm so hungry, so hungry I could die. It's like I'm all out of bread. I can't go on like this. I need to try to buy something with the money Annabelle gave me. It's like a store, a store. It's like food. Most of our stock has been requisitioned by the army. Do you have your ration card? And she's like, oh, uh, uh. He's like, young lady, have you been left all alone at a time like this? Are you a local? And she's like, oh, right, I left my ration card at home. I'll run back and get it. And she just, like, runs away from the store. And you have a little notice put up saying, looting by Austanian soldiers is on the rise. If you witness such a crime, report or eliminate the thief immediately. And you see as, uh, Martha kind of like hiding and like just plodding along. She thinks back to a woman. She's one of those Eastern lady soldiers. And she just kind of like shivers with fear. She remembers that. Then she looks around and spots a little farmhouse nearby. Uh, so she goes inside and picks up like a pair of sheep shearing scissors and just like cuts her hair into like a uh, little military like men's cut. Uh, so she shears, shears it down. And she's like, I need to find some men's clothes. It's like, I'm sorry, Annabelle, for leaving your daughter's clothes here. And some information. It's like, how can I slip past the Westalis army to return to the east? As useful as this map is, it obviously doesn't have military positions. I'll need to figure that out myself. If scattered Ostanian soldiers are showing up in these towns, and the front line can't be far from here, or so I'd like to believe. But from what I've overheard from the townsfolk, the Ostanian army is in the midst of a major retreat. If I can't get back to them soon, I'll be left behind. But there could be landmines, so I'll need to choose my route with care. And then you see how she's like sitting on the little uh, bench, like muttering to herself, looking at this map. You have some guy passing by above going, With a map like that, you've got your hands on some pretty sensitive material, lad. And she's like, Oh, uh, my um grandmother gave it to me. It's like, low voice, low voice. It's like, that right. Then take care you don't get that confiscated by the military. And she's like, I can't risk staying here any longer. I need to get out of here as soon as I can get my hands on some food. He's like, and so my long walk continued. It's like, these might be edible. She's like foraging in the wilderness. It's like fighting cold, hunger, all while fearing an enemy attack. It's like, I have to get back to the people I love. That determination would be enough to keep my feet moving. Or so I thought, but I was wrong. It had been a fool's errand all along. And his here just kind of collapsed as you have, I should at least be near the front by now, but I can't hear anything at all. Where is the Eastern Army? Hardly matters now. I can't walk another step. And you see as tears are dripping down her face, you have ver 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 ver. It's like an engine? That's a military vehicle! And you see as it's passing by, you see the bunch of soldiers like looking at her confused. 
like, what's that? Someone collapsed on the road? It's like, what's all the soldiers? It's like, it's all over. It's like, looks Austinian. Gotta be. And you see one of them pulling up a gun. He's like, think I should finish him off? It's like, lower your weapon. Let him be. The war's over, remember? As you see, like, well, it's kind of like covering her head uh, in fright. And she looks surprised, like, the war is over? It's like, wait. It's like, I don't remember too much about what happened next. Just that the eastern sky was shining much more brightly. And like some bug, I was being drawn in by its light. In the end, I was crawling along the ground. And the next thing I knew, I was being nursed by Austonian troops who had been assigned to clean up duty near a forward outpost. As you clank, clank, and a vroom, vroom, as you see like a bunch of trucks with like wounded soldiers uh, driving back. And you have, I can't believe there's so many other soldiers who hadn't made it home. And you have, hey, you're Martha from the women's battalion, right? I saw your picture in the paper. I heard your whole unit got wiped out. I sh yeah, sure I'm glad you made it back alive. And you see like this guy with like, this bandage wrapped around his head, like his arm in a sling, just like smiling at her. And she's just looking kind of like dead behind the eyes. He's like, you okay? Want some water? So come on, cheer up, the war is over, we all get to go back home. And you see another, like, grumpy, you know, not grumpy, serious looking, I guess, better description. Going, we didn't win, didn't lose either. What was the point of any of it? What were we even fighting for? So what are you talking about? We were fighting to protect our homes, and thanks to all of us, we did. Cities like Berlin made it through the war completely unscathed, and that's because of us. And Martha's like, yeah. That's right. It's just like you said. It's like this wasn't the end of the war that anyone had wanted. It's like, hey, thanks. But if we all couldn't find something about it to celebrate, then our hearts were likely to shatter completely. And he just grins and is like, my name's Paul. I'm from Berlin. He's like, I'm from Berlin too. He's like, what? No way. It's like, we had a long and bumpy ride ahead of us. Once we crossed the border, we all boarded a train. It's like, we're coming home alive. That sense of relief had given us a new burst of vitality, but it was rapidly ebbing away. And you see her just like coughing as she's drooping from like low energy from having like, you know, basically starved for so long. Like, here you go, Martha, have some water. Now she's gulping it down. It's like, listen, Martha, when we get back to Berlin, how about you and I get married? And she just spits out the water. He's like, I can't. It's like, already got a husband? It's like, no, but my heart does belong to another. It's like, huh, well, that's all the more reason to heal up and come home healthy. Then he wobbles over and is like, hey, have some water, Tommy. It's like, when I do get home, what should I tell him? It's like, we spent weeks on that train. Each time we stopped, more people got off. Until finally, we arrived in Berlin. And Jav, it's Berlin! We're home! It's like, woohoo! It's like, we're here! It's like, yeah, it's like, Paul, wake up! They said we're in Berlin! And she's shaking him and you see that he's looking like very gaunt. And he's completely collapsed. And he's like, Paul? It's like, his body was already cold last night. Guess he couldn't hold out long enough. Plenty of other folks didn't make it either. Anyway, we got to get off the train. He said, but that, that isn't fair. He's like, look, miss, we got to get off now. We're back home. And you see Martha's like let out onto uh, the train tracks. Uh, yeah, so I don't know. Again, I guess quick thoughts on this chapter. Uh, so at the beginning, so here's the thing, I guess I'll, like I'll touch on briefly. So I feel like... There's definitely, like, the imp very, even if, like, very shallowly implied, kind of the implication that Martha was kind of fearing, like, you know, sexual assault, assault or coercion of some kind by the Eastern soldiers, uh, which is why she's kind of, like, doing the, like, you know, I have to, like, cut my hair, like, make myself look uh, more boyish so I can, like, pass by, so, you know, if someone doesn't try to take advantage of me. And it's like, all right, on the one hand... I appreciate that Endosan kind of like, you know, hinted at it, even loosely kind of hinted at, you know, this being something that is something like, you know, women would have to be wary of during war. But again, I feel like it's, again, something that should be, should have been addressed a little bit more in depth, even if it is just in passing conversation, uh, given, you know, a major focus of these last couple of chapters have been kind of the role of women in war, like how they've been used and abused. I feel like that's something you should also address with regards to that. On the other hand, I get why you wouldn't, because it is a very serious and harrowing topic. And especially for something, you know, semi-lighthearted comedy like like Spy Family, it really isn't kind of like the medium or kind of, kind of series where you would kind of expect like an in-depth kind of analysis or nuanced 
take or like addressing of that kind of situation and themes. So the one hand is like, all right, I get it. like you know, there's only so much you can do. So that's kind of why I'm like, all right, I appreciate that you know there's at least the implication of it, even if we didn't get much further than that. Apart from that, I don't really know what to make of this chapter because again, I feel like if there had just been a little bit more set up done a lot of this would have landed more impactfully than it did because again it feels like you know it is kind of a very anti-war uh kind of chapter and arc for martha where it's kind of like you know you're showing like kind of the pointlessness of it like you know how little the lives of soldiers uh are valued in this and like you know how much they have to how much of themselves they have to give to these kinds of efforts and how little they're repaid in return uh, like, we'll I assume we'll dive more into, like, the latter aspects of that once we see them kind of reintegrating back into society. Uh, but again, like, introducing this guy and being like, oh, you know, this friendly kind of guy, it feels a little bit too... What's the word I'm looking for? I'm trying to find the proper word for this. I'm sorry, my brain's not working today. It feels like a cheap tactic to introduce this, like, you know, the smiling, friendly guy is, like, going around being all cheerful, like, you know, offering people water and being like, oh, you know, he's trying to help everyone out, trying to, like, uplift their spirits and everything and having, having like, asking Martha, like, you know, do you want to marry me when we go back? And at the end being like, oh, my God, he died. Like, oh, no. Like, it feels very cheap to, like, kind of manufacture an emotional response. And I don't think it lands because we literally meet this guy halfway through the chapter and he's immediately killed off like a couple of pages later. And there really isn't enough time for us to like actually empathize with him as a character or empathize with his struggle. You know, so it kind of just feels like I right, just kind of just like tossed in there just like to elicit an emotional reaction. But I feel like it didn't really land with the impact that it's supposed to. Uh, so we'll see again. I feel like this I feel like I need to do like a proper video once this is these arcs are done because uh, I know I was meaning to do one with uh, regards to yours uh co-workers where she's talking about like you know she lost her family and all that because I also found that kind of lackluster so I feel like I need to do like a co more comprehensive video uh with my feelings regarding all of this and, like where it falls flat uh, but I'll wait for this arc to finish before I kind of decide if I want to touch on that or not uh, but yeah, I feel like you could have done a lot more with this, so this just felt like a, a filler chapter, so to speak. Uh, with all that said, I hope you all did enjoy this video. Uh, if you did, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Like I mentioned, I'll be going on hiatus after this, so if I'm coming back, I will let you all know. And until next time, this is Ash. I'll talk to you all later.